a multi-sided civil war very shortly and you know black against white puerto rican against black whatever or, uh, muslims against christians and jews and uh, you know extreme right extreme left uh, poor rich all these kind of different directions will tear america apart once the economy starts to fail and america will eventually be invaded according to the hopi prophecies and uh, you know uh, a lot of what they say makes sense to me well, I mean, you can just look at what's going on and how they're race baiting everything. They're really trying to balkanize the country and set it up for race war. Well, certainly. And there's certainly enough weapons and ammunition and stuff around to do that. Uh, they've pushed every button from the White House. They pushed every button they could to bring America into civil disorder and collapse the economy here. I don't think if they've left anything uh, undone or unplanned to tear this country apart. It, it, they couldn't have done it better if they planned openly to destroy us. Incredible. Stan Deo, getting back into the super volcanoes, how did you first start warning of the super volcano that now mainline scientists are saying is becoming active and could erupt at any time? I mean, how, how, how did you first get into that? And what else are you concerned with, with the ring of fire becoming very active, all these earthquakes we've seen? How much of it increased the last few months? Um, well, when you say the last few months, are you talking about actual earthquakes or damage from earthquakes? Well, just all of I was looking at the graphs. They're all off the chart from the USGS. Okay. Well, uh, that graph is showing, um, of course, uh, deadly and destructive earthquakes you know how many people got killed or whatever and and, and the damage from them um, when you look at the actual earthquake plots they are not quite as dramatic but they do increase uh, over the year 2000 to now that looks like a tenfold increase in death and destruction from what i see in the last uh, 100 years what the, yeah and what that means is is that these earthquakes are occurring in populated places uh, all over the world in diverse places and that brings up the cohen quote which is which is about the Secretary of Defense saying that there's people that have earthquake weapons. Well, yeah, I mean, that's we've known that for a while. I mean, uh, Russia and the United States uh, signed their first uh, weather war uh, treaty, you know, or geologic treaty in 1977. So since 1977, it has kind of been a matter of public record that this kind of nonsense has been going on. Uh, bunker buster bombs at the right place, uh, nuclear detonations at the right place uh, can cause earthquakes that are already formed and ready to happen to go ahead and trigger. Uh, you know, yeah, uh, the, the, the Cohen quote could be uh, well applicable now. Uh, I, I'm i looking at earthquakes at the moment on my earthquake uh, map. I've got it on that uh, show images page on our website. Uh, it's so for people that are following, it's down uh, the third row down the middle where it shows earthquakes between the 25th of March and the 1st of April this year, planetary wide. And you will see, if you, if you get a chance to look at it, that the Richter 8 Samad uh, earthquake in Chile, the uh, probably two and a half weeks ago now, has been followed by earthquakes moving up through Central America and up toward the United States on the Ring of Fire. My and I heard you on the radio a few weeks ago say, watch, this is going to follow up the tectonic plate, and it did it, but mainline scientists said, oh, no connection, don't worry. <laughs> well, yeah, again, I think that their hands are tied by the White House. That so many of them had to sign these agreements not to pass you know, terrible information to the public, but, uh, but unless the White House gives them permission to. And that's for economic and political stability and uh, all kinds of other reasons that the White House does that. But I know having talked to some of these USGS officers or uh, engineers that they their hands are just tied. They wish they could say more. Uh, to, to, to give you, uh, how long have we got here? We got, got a couple minutes? Got a couple more minutes. We're going to come back with two more segments. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, in the Philippines, uh, there was a, a volcanic eruption there and uh, a few years back, and they made a documentary uh, of the USGS handling this, uh, the, the explosion there. What was it, Pinatubo, something like that. Anyway, the USGS was sitting there measuring earthquakes underneath the cone of this big volcano, trying to figure out, is it about to erupt? Is it about to erupt? And they were running around inside there. You could see them on the documentary. And their concern was that if they called it an earthquake and called an evacuation of a million people plus the U.S. Air Force Base there, and it didn't happen, everybody would, you know, turn on them and, and consume them for having given false information, her business, and all that kind of stuff. On the other hand, if they don't do it and it it does happen, they'd say, why didn't you warn us? And so it, you know, they're darned if they do, darned if they don't. And finally, they bit the bullet and said, look, we think the eruption is imminent. Evacuate. 
and it saved a lot of lives. That's the problem facing people in official positions with this kind of data is, you know, personally, they are somewhat liable no matter what happens. Uh, you know, they can't make a mistake. And it's it's hard in this business in volcano prediction, earthquake prediction. There's a probability factor that works against you. So that's why they do it. And, and I, you know, I sympathize with a lot of these guys who are just caught uh, in their jobs. But undoubtedly, these earthquakes are increasing. The deaths increasing. Yes. And is it the world's more populated is why it's killing more? Because I'm looking at some of the old earthquake maps. It looks like it's targeting cities now. It, it looks really suspicious to a layperson. Well, yeah, well, not only that, yeah, look in the United States where we're starting to get internal earthquakes now then uh, in Oklahoma. That's Oklahoma. what I wanted to come back with you. So tell us about that when we come back with Stan Dayo. He's in, I want to get this guy on more, a lot more. I, I, he's, he covers so much incredible stuff. StanDayo.com. I'm Alex Jones. Stay with us. Do you want to feel awesome all day long? Do you want to sleep so good you wake up feeling awesome? the way you did when you were a kid? Feel awesome with no caffeine, just awesome tasting nutrition. Try Passion for Life and rediscover your awesomeness. Call today, 844-TRY-LIFE. Call 844-879-5433 or visit 844-TRY-LIFE.COM. With the globalists making more and more advances into our freedoms every day and ruining our health care system, it's important to be able to take back control of our own personal health care. Colloidal silver water even fights against the new designer bugs. The best price is found anywhere, along with the highest quality. That's why you'll love silver creams and water from colloidalresearch.com. Silver's been used for thousands of years to fight against germs and bacteria because it works. Check it out for yourself at colloidalresearch.com. That's colloidalresearch.com. What I'm about to tell you is based on information obtained from a little-known government document called FT-900. This bombshell government document contains evidence on what I believe will cause the next 9-11. I've just posted a video at www.next911exposed2.com that not only analyzes the contents of this document, but it walks you through the exact timeline of how and when this 9-11 event is scheduled to occur. Just like 9-11 had a lasting impact on our society, this event will reshape America. It will swipe trillions off markets and retirement accounts everywhere and destroy the way of life of millions of unprepared Americans. But it will also trigger what promises to be the biggest wealth transfer in the history of our nation. But you only have a few weeks left to take all the necessary steps to protect yourself and your family. Just visit www.next911exposed2.com to view my newly released video. Again. That's www.next911exposed2.com before it's too late. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and the truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs Generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs Generator and Lung Delivery System at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. our guest for this segment five minutes the next hour then john mcafee's coming on talk about heartbleed and is this the internet false flag to bring in total control john mcafee who is a top you know known expert in, in internet security and also a character is going to be joining us via video skype it's video skype right that's coming up at eight after next hour stan Deo, uh, i've been asking a lot of questions you're making a lot of great points getting back into you were talking about all this earthquakes in new york 
earthquakes in Colorado, earthquakes uh, in places like Oklahoma and Texas. Uh, and again, you were talking about these fault lines in the middle of the country and weird drills. And I remember hearing you on the radio going, man, I, this guy sounds credible, but you know, the, the, it's, they're going to get active in the middle of the country and the government knows something and then they're having drills and it all starts happening. So, so Stan Deo, tell us what you think is going on. All right. Well, now, I don't know if uh, your producer has the ability to put this graphic up, but if he doesn't, uh, you can go to standeo.com. They're showing and, it right now. Yeah. All right. Now, what? All right. Is that the one that shows all the earthquakes over the planet and in, in the United States? Yes. We've been showing the U.S. and the world. We've been showing different ones. Okay. Well, I, all right. We'll come back to that in a second. But on the top row of the images I've put up for you guys, on the right-hand side is one called the USA Stable Earthquake Shield. Now... What this picture is a black and white picture, but it's it's hard to get this data. But uh, I want you to look at this because where this black line runs from Canada down into Texas and up into Oklahoma and across over the New Madrid and then up into uh, the, the uh, western side of the, or, of the eastern, uh, sorry, the western side of the Appalachian up into New York. This line is what's called the stable shield where earthquakes basically don't occur. Outside that line, toward the oceans, is where the earthquakes occur, right on that border. And surprise, surprise, it runs through, you know, uh, uh, central Texas, up into Oklahoma City, over into the lower, uh, or into the start region of the New Madrid, uh, and then on up into the uh, New England states, you know, past New York and whatever. Along those lines, and up in through Yellowstone, too, by the way, is where we're going to see massive earthquakes and possibly some volcanic activity uh, in addition to what's going to happen in uh, California with uh, volcanoes and up into the, uh, uh, the uh, range of them, the Cascades uh, uh, under uh, the West Coast there. There's probably about uh, six volcanoes that may become active there. But anyway, if you look at that, pull that thing down and put it in your computer, print it out, and realize where those black lines are down at the, the, the central stable region uh, of the U.S. shield. Uh, outside that region is, is going to have some activity, uh, fairly serious ones. Now, the, the first graphic I had him put up was showing the earthquake patterns for the uh, uh, last 30 days uh, of the planet. And certainly you can see from just looking at that that we have activity starting to increase uh, in the uh, northern part of Oregon, southern part of Washington, um, and at the very tip of uh, northern California, at where the Juan de Fuca plate is. And that's the reason that we have um, uh, a, a great deal of concern for the area there for tsunamis and damaged infrastructures because the Juan de Fuca plate all, is the only one of all of those earthquakes you see there around the Ring of Fire. The only one that is not released, it's Richter 9 plus stress in the last 55 years. Everyone is watching that site. If something triggers it, it's going to hurt us a lot. And uh, I'm seeing earthquakes right there on this picture I've got up there, right on the tip of the Juan de Fuca plate on a ridge that runs out. It's called the Mendocino Fault Ridge. Runs right out into the uh, North Pacific, uh, Northeast Pacific. So let's keep an eye on these things. Um, you guys, you know, as listeners can do it on the USGS site and other sites that do show these earthquakes daily. All right, Stan, stay there. One one more minute. We're going to come back in a final segment with you with final comments. Stan Deo is our guest. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139.
Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network.